This is where I let you take lead. All right. On me. Now we need to take these out fast. Very well. Tiberius. Yes. Drop that fucker. We're gonna get the one at the front. Lord Edna. It's best to take them out simultaneously. Mm-hmm. You make your way forward slowly, low to the ground. You can very slightly hear the shifting of the plate of the men waiting behind you ever so quietly. The sentry seems to be on his own. You know there's one somewhere else, but you're going to trust Tiberius to take care of him. The blade sinks into the throat and to the back of the leg before a sound can be made. At the same time, you look to the side. Halstead quickly cuts down the other one. Looking ahead, you can see there's a few more sentries, but you need to keep a column moving behind you. Time is of the essence. He whistled for them a second ago. I don't know if they heard or not. <clears throat> Kyler, clinging to the shadows behind this tree, you can see that the sentries ahead seem to be looking for some signs of their compatriots. It seems the patrols had been organized in you such a way that. as they were able to regularly make eye contact. You hear the gentle, quiet movement of plate behind you as a column slowly moves to you. We're on a time limit now. Tiberius with me. We'll take <clears> out these other ones. With you. Torty. Get those two on the left. Since the last time, blade quick into the throat as a man drops to the ground, blood pooling, an arterial spray across the dirt. You hear what sounded like the attempt to blow a horn. It's very faint and it dies quickly. <sighs>
You would know, Lord Erdot. You are close. And just over that ridge is a place that you need to assault. Keep moving. Bloody hell. Oh, I just love oh. that. Oh my. You fucked the fight. Anyone see a way in? As you're looking directly forward, surveying the scene, Lord Erdhart, you see that there is a number of soldiers diligently watching over the palisade wall too, in fact, that are staring hard in the direction of the other sentries. They seem to be talking to one another. <clears throat> Something's been noted. Okay. If knows that the sentries are missing, they might send out a group, a search party. As soon as they do that and those doors open, we're going in. Let's get as close as we can. Should someone... Mm -hmm. Should someone <laughs> sneak in and do a smoke bomb? Or smoke... I don't think there'd be us? much sneaking anymore. Have it ready. I figured it'd just cause some confusion and delay. Mm -hmm. Watch me right. put that spear. The most ideal situation is preventing them from closing that gate, but I don't think we can do that. <gasps> mm -hmm. You watch these men along the walls, Lord Erdhart. They're diligent. They're soldiers. They keep their eyes surveying the scene. You see one man at the front gate, the one standing in the middle, talking to the others, pointing down somewhere within. He seems agitated. The other man he's talking to disappears off the gatehouse. Get ready to move up, everyone. Stay low. Very well. Surely there's another way in. As you sit here patiently watching. You don't see the gates open, Lord Erdhard, but you do see something that immediately makes you concerned. A pillar of smoke begins rising into the sky. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. It's now or never. Your men have axes. It's a wood gate. Alright. Move up. Ready? Get as close as you can. Get as close as you can before they see you. Use the trees. As soon as they spot you, sprint for it. Use the axes on the gate. Archers, shoot at the walls. But keep yourself hidden. Everything will be beneath until we get here. One. Do you think you saw something? Who's got ranged? The sentries would have reported by now. Calm down. There's nothing out there. Sergeant. I don't know what you're yapping about. Chest, trees, and Tell him to start taking shots. Oh, you just get on shift. We're in here. You now hear one, two, three, four, five. Horns from camps in the distance. Fuck's sake. The timer has <gasps> begun, my lord. No. Take your shots, go. Axes, get the walls, go. Go, go, go. Axes, wall. Heading straight up to the gates and begin doing this. 
Stay down. Tiberius, with a four plus your armor modifier of plus three, you will receive a major injury as it splits your leather armor and embeds itself in your pectoral. A shock. Oh! Like <laughs> Blood squirts across your face as one of these men do so, and you continue to work on the gate with your men. Get that fucking gate down! All of you watch as the massive axe of Warsaw begins to chip the man away next to you shields you gates. as more bolts rain down. Well, Slim takes a bolt to the shoulder but ignores it as his massive axe continues to do work, attempting to get the gate open for his lord. Just as your god, men drop, more and more come from the rear. Another volley of bolts! Throwing a rocket armor and arrows. Understood, rolling. With a two as you throw it, the arm that you're using was the one that was shot. The man next to you is very careful and does his best to keep you covered, Lord Erdard. Sorry, <laughs> One swing at the winter. Wood cracks and creaks. Come here, open. Fill in to the camp. And with a fucking Muslim, you will break the way in. Then Lord Earhart can slip through. Lord Earhart, it's all this small enough for you. Men, form up. He's going through. Cut them down! Tiberius! Arch is on the right! Take plume! Shut those gates behind us! Shut those fucking gates behind us. Get up on the walls, get archers. Ready for defense. Form up! Keep watching behind. Get those gates closed. Right, reform. <laughs> Reform the lines. Reform your lines. Reform. <laughs> 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 
Push through! Drive them into the dirt! Boss! Boss! As the fighting continues and rages throughout the camp, as both Rodard and Robert Baron's men fight like hell, a faint whistling can be heard coming in the direction of the other camps. Rolling for both sides. With a 12 for the Rodard men and 11 for the Robber Barons, respectively, minor casualties on both sides as arrows rain into the camp, disrupting the fighting for but a moment before it resumes. On pause! Fucking hell. <laughs> Shoot those fucking archers! Come on! Try, sir. Plume, get those archers! Down at the end! Right. Go to her. He's just tackling. <laughs> Behind you, you fools. Really? Oh. Do it. Oh. Do it. Oh. Do it.
crossbows. You see clay pots shatter all around you from siege engines, and bees start to come from the shattered pots, swarming some of the soldiers. What the fuck? They are poison. Cover your skin. Tuck themselves with their chainmail. Plume, put out that fucking fire. Careful! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Where did all these insects come from? Turn off that fucking fire. Put that out. Reform! Put out that fire! You see that a majority of the siege engine's damage has passed. But you see something else. You look over towards the wood wall where one of the enemy crossbowmen are. A grappling hook has heavily armed men come over one last attempt. Totti! The wall! Reform! On me! Push them back! Take out that fucking crossbow man with the grappling hook! Fuck! of the skill gap with your 19 plus 3 minus 2 you easily duck underneath the halberd you see the weakness he has no coin no bubble covering the neck he's stabbed directly in blood pouring from his throat erupting onto the ground you hear a cry go up a cry goes up from the enemies Push them to the walls! You hear the Redon men cheer next to you! Oh, 
Honor and wisdom! Honor and wisdom! Damn fucking straight. Right, medical. Who needs help? I'm gonna need uh, some injury rolls. <laughs> DM. I'll get the gate open. They'll let the reinforcements uh, in. Many of, many of our men right. We do not have to have, have supplies. Check the houses. They'll have to have some there. They may have supplies here. Then, as best as you can. Right. The area around you is strewn with bodies, both sides. You count, you lost maybe about 16 men. Not bad, considering. I'm gonna need some. Around you lay about 40 of the enemy dead. I'm gonna need some injury rolls. Probably about two or three. How many? I was in sustained combat, two or three. Seems they packed up whatever was left. There was not much. With a 5 plus 3, 6, 7, 8, that is a major wound. With a 9 plus 3, that is no <clears throat> wound. And with a, a 2 plus 3, that is another major wound. Fuck. Two majors. He's gonna take check, a potion. Check the tent. I could use three rolls as well. <clears throat> Rolling. Medical supplies. Have 13 plus 6. 7 plus 6. Go and treat the Lord. Are any of the others first? 6 plus 6. No wounds. I took like 3 good hits. My lord, order. 5 plus 3. Major. How are you? Wounded. 1 plus 3. I have a potion. Critical. 2 mages. <laughs> Obviously, sir. Yeah. 5 plus 3. Major. Are you sure? I can try and treat you. Unless you think this is more wise for the potion. Take it. Do your best. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Two hits. Okay. Take a bandage. Yeah. Across and, uh, what are they telling you? They told you any rules? Uh, two majors. Plus two. Yep, yep she has a... The man will be able to take care of one of the majors. Oh. Great your teeth, sir. This is going to not be very pleasant. Oh, fuck. And we're Stop the bleeding on that two, one. You'll be able to take care of the other wound as well. Let me see. Ah, that's not too, that's not too much of a problem. Lift your arm a little. With a 9 plus 3, the critical wound will be treated. There are still two majors. Well done, my lord. Thank you. Well done. Treat her. Anyone else that needs to be wounded. You got any more uh, bandages? No. No. Let me see her. Let me see her. Hi. That man needs, uh, need your uh, right. attention down there. What are you telling me? What is she holding? You'll be able to pull out one of the Soldier. I got this tent tied up in a knot, trying to make my way through. There might be supplies inside. Okay, I guess that solves the problem. Well done. Hey. They have fled. Alright. The reinforcements have arrived. We will be moving out throughout the walls. Good. Get that gate up and running. Whatever supplies you need. It's a fucking logging camp for fuck's sake. Use anything you can. Get crossbow on the walls. Yes, my lord. We will be do so in garden. Good lads. What's in here? The bandages aren't enough. And the major becomes a critical. Fuck! The wound is far too deep, sir. Possibly an officer's tent. No more will not be to pick her up. Careful. Please be careful with her. That's fine. I'll take care of her. What's going on? Call this tent. No one comes in. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, take your leave, soldier. Soldier. Can, can you guard the outside? Yes, What's going on? Critical. <sighs> I have a band-aid. DM? Uh, sorry, a potion. Yes? You know what I want to do? And it could go very poorly. <sighs> what? It's critical. All they have is bandages. I have a potion. Fuck, then give it to me. Tier 2. <clears throat> As you put the potion to her lips, with a 13 plus 2, it'll go down with ease and flesh will begin to stitch itself together. The concerns fading. 
<sighs> as you see the wound begin to heal. <sighs> I thought I was doing great. And then you, you did amazing. Adrenaline you. War you did wonderfully. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well fought. Around maybe oh God. a little less than two dozen men here. Maybe less. All right. Lieutenant. Everything's good. This is an officer's tent. We haven't had time to search it yet. Is there anyone else I need to see to? I still have a good bit of supplies. I think we're okay. Blue, is she okay? If I, if I could suggest, my lord. Right. Maybe we could start moving our wounded to one of these buildings, but you are. Make it so. Okay. Alright. Yes. Oh. Take you and your head to back. I will take care of the fort here. Alright. Okay. Oh, Report to a man. <laughs> you are a good man, Lord. Your father would be throw a shit eating grin on his face, and the grasp on your hand would break a cow's leg. But the man looks jovial as can be. All right, do what you need to do. You know how to send missives. If you need anything, who we'll sends reinforcements? Is the patient all right? Any further bleeding? She seems to be okay. He's fine. I'm good. All right. Are you okay, Dirty? We're gonna gather up. Officer's dead. Yeah, give it a search. See if there's anything interesting. Sergeant, good. Just a little dizzy. Don't know which one of you is the real one. Yeah. You're right. They didn't go into something from. A few more bolts. Remaining just out of eyes eyes reach, huh? Well thought. Yeah. We're gonna get out of here before they start to attack the walls. Oh. So, take a second if you need it. Check yeah. the others. Uh, I'll be fine. Thank you. I want you to pick me up on everyone else. Doing okay. Doing just fine. Great shit. Still a little achy. Tuck a swag. We'll be heading home soon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, good shooting, Fend. No, he was cowering behind some logs. I'll be going back with you. Good. Now, unfortunately, the lieutenant will have some fun with him. Yeah. Probably take it. So it was him. From what I hear, we might have a new commissary. I'm not out of some trust. I'm sorry. Maybe if you wanted you when you're trying to fold. Some mm. hard right. proper, you know. Mm. I'm never ready to go. Some of us are going to be in the game. Never ready to go. Lads, all of you, oh, taking care of If you have any hands in here, I'll never let you live it down. That's probably oh. what I'm in here. Oh. <laughs> for reminding me. Oh. 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 It's a different balance. Oh. 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 To be wary of uh, Anything? I didn't find anything of. So you're telling me this. Anything of use, it's sort of a mess in there, but... That's a little glass bobble. Oh, cute. Ready to head back, everyone? Come on, yes. yes. We need a man to get those robots. In the ports. You have to leave smoking away. Or an Of course. Cooking for him. I'll be going back with him. I have more assignments today. Take care of things from here, my lord. Hold those fucking walls, man. Alright. Let's get back before more people show up. Well done, everyone. Right. <sighs> I haven't had to fight that hard in a long time. Yeah, that's a bit intense.
Only at the height of summer. soon, don't worry. Yeah. Do, uh, watch out for orcs, just in case. <clears throat> yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the skylines. Good. Though I don't have great eyesight, so I'm probably not the best for that. How hard did you get hit? You aren't the only one keeping an eye out. <sighs> Wait, sorry, did I throw fucking bees at us? No. Yeah. What the uh, fuck? I guess they were bees. <sighs> yeah. A little fucked up. Thought we were meant to see Pasha. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't show up today. That's fine. <sighs> It'd be good to drop him when we get the chance, but I'll take this as a victory. <sighs> Did you see the numbers? Suddenly. We lost about 16 and killed about 40 of theirs. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad at all. Fuck, which way are we going? Over this hill should be... Towards... Yeah. Where we meant to go? Lead the way, Plume. <clears throat> this might take us over the north road. Right oh. there. Don't move. Oh. No, 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 Especially you, I don't know who you are. I don't suppose you'll show your face, would you? No. <laughs> you wouldn't have anything to do with the... Uh... No, we're mushroom pickers. Comedy. Some of these men are butchers, farmers, storekeepers. You, I want to talk to. Just to talk. Just a talk. Your men stay here, my men stay here. Very well. Your weapons sheathed unless they pull theirs up. <clears throat> okay, okay. If they attack, break contact. Disperse. That's Seen you before. Have you? Mm. Where have you seen me? I was uh, picking mushrooms by the uh, woodcutter's camp a couple of nights ago. It seems you escaped then. Things are getting rather tense, I'm afraid. The redods backed into a corner, no less. I need you to do me a favor. I have heard that your father is an honor-bound man, and the same seems to be of his bloodline. <clears throat> if I give you a message, would you give it to someone without reading it? Who would you give it to? A 
a woman named Venora. And what do you know of this Venora? Does it matter? I just want to know if you'll give her a message. Will you let my men and I leave? You have my word. I don't know what that's worth. You'll have to trust me. Stay away from the front line tomorrow. It's going to be brutal. Hmm. It's very kind of you for the heads up. <clears throat> There's been a lot of bloodshed. It is. Is it strange for fighting men to not want to spill more than they have to? You're a fighting man, right? You fight. Do you cover yourself in the blood of the people here because you enjoy it? No. Neither do I. Mm. The middle of the woods is not a place for philosophy, I'm afraid. Well, for some. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. What the fuck you doing here? Ah, welcome back, Pasha. Nothing. Just gonna sit there. What? Shut your mouth. Okay. Be quick about it. Let's head home. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. After you, Plume. Ever the Honorable Pasha. Safe travels out there. <laughs> and if you see Wo Slim, let them know I will kill him tomorrow. <laughs> Come find me. <laughs> hey, Ooh, in the red. That's the vineyard to our right. We're on the rocks surrounding Nautis right now. Okay, well, let's get down. So, what was all that about? Still trying to put it together. Maybe I can help. You know this Pasha person? I know of him. Hmm. What do you know of him? I know he's meant to be some sort of honorable duelist. He inspires a great deal of courage in his men. I think that's all things you all There's also know. a lot of eccentric rumors about him strutting around. Such as? A man who breathes fire. Bridge. A man who has bested some of the best of men, killed 30 by himself so plainly. Roses, that's Marcus. Some of the returning soldiers. Good. <laughs> and more and beyond eccentric things, as you can understand. Seem pretty Faced regular to me. His skills are not to be guy. underestimated. Seen him bleed? Not personally, mm, no. Not yet. But I've seen him bleed others. He will. Hey, Marcus. Oh, hey. That's looking all over for you. They said they had, you had gone this way. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Sure. Done. Um, oh, how'd it go? Well, we won. Yeah. 
you one, fantastic. Uh, may I carry one of you back? Christ. Anyone need to get carried? Okay. You should come with Fine. me to the keep, Plume. I will. <clears throat> it's good to see you all back. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. You sunny, staring at the flowers again. Yes, they are beautiful. Did we learn anything interesting? <clears throat> From? Any of that? <sighs> Apparently the front line is going to be brutal tomorrow. Hmm. What are your orders in the meantime? Rest, recuperate, have a drink, clean the blood off you. Keep building those fucking there walls. Ah, oh, it's bad supply. I'm a bit not. How much more do you need? Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's always a lot. I have some. Although, with the success, that sounds good. We have the logging camp. We can produce wood at least. Next step is the iron mine. We can get, uh. If we can get carts to bring any wood that you found, then that'd be good. I still have 35 stone. Front lines. That would be still oh quite God. dangerous for anyone to attempt. My lord, what would you have me do? <sighs> Carry on with your day. Sing the praises of our victory. Something, something. Have a drink. Very well. Bye -bye. I'll see all of you later. Right. Thanks again. You did amazing. I couldn't ask for Should better. I escort you to the keep. I'll be okay, Marcus. Thanks. Nice horse. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Mm. Come on, Sonny. <sighs> this is for you. Tier two potion to replace the one you lost. <laughs> In my panic, I forgot I had it, but I was too embarrassed to admit it. Tell no one. Of course. I wouldn't say lost, I'd say put to good use. <sighs> you doing alright, Vez? No. You wanna talk about it? But I'm managing. Ain't that the fucking <sighs> truth? Talk about it. I don't know. I'm sure you've got enough on your plate. We clean up before we show ourselves to the Lord. Is that what's happening? I don't think we'll have a chance. What are we supposed to wash in the fountain? Mm. Wear it with pride. Might need to ping someone. One second. <laughs> mm 
<clears throat> Are you planning to talk about what I mentioned it to you? Fuck, alright. On the fly then. I can at least just introduce you. Reintroduce, you mean? Uh, Brunswick, you have a second? They're just on the other side of the door. Nope. Maple, do you have a second? So this is what the interior of the castle looks like. For you, like. I have all the time in the world. What can I do for you? Um, so Kyle has just returned back from the offensive, um, and he's supposed to report to Baron Mem. Um, we're in the keep, and he ain't anywhere to be seen. Uh, understood. Uh, let me just quickly check. We'll be, yeah, we'll because be I know, I know, I know. Mm was recast, and I'm blanking on who can plays him now. One second. Yep. Should probably wait outside. That's at the bottom of the stairs. <clears throat> sure. I've just received confirmation. A mem will be available later today. He is currently busy with his own matters. Understood. Thank you. Sure. Uh, there, uh, we, we don't have the manpower currently, but it won't be too long. All right, well, you're in luck. Um, <clears throat> ain't here. We'll be back later today, in which case... I'm in luck. Well, you have time to think about what you're going to say. I see. And we can clean up, I guess. Sure. I'd like to workshop it with you, honestly. Okay. You're more familiar with his temperament now. Huh. <laughs> Some days I feel like he's a complete different person. What will do that to you? Uh, it's the feeling I get. Um, yeah, he, uh, apparently he'll be back later today, so... Whatever that means. Alright. What a solid... hour and a half before I had to take care of my personal affairs. Mm. <clears throat> I need to find uh, Venora if possible. You want to run this plan by me first? Sure. Okay. We can clean up in my shop. I have a wash basin there. Oh, look at me. Fancy. I have a basin full of water. It's a lot considering these days. Maybe he could tell you himself, if he wants to. A lot. About the bill book. 
Maybe another time. We have guests. Put some tea on, Markle. He's a lord. <laughs> a lord. I really can't seem anything other than a blacksmith, let's be honest. <sighs> right, so. This is the gist of the plan. <laughs> Rather, you know the gist of the plan. We need to work out the specifics, how we seek to present it. Okay. What is the most logical course of action? Something that will make sense and be agreeable. <clears throat> and not appear to be some last second thought of a plot. <sighs> well, yeah, sure. <clears throat> how would you like me to introduce you? Because that's how we would do it. I'd introduce you as something. And then highlight that you've been instrumental to the retaking of several key points. <clears throat> mm. So, how overt do you want to be? Just, I suppose, <clears throat> as a veteran. I okay. can't risk getting my name out just yet. Even to the barons. Well, we'll go as... The problem is, Kovas tried to have me killed. Tried to have... Bezrin killed, or...? He tried to have Bezrin killed, yes. <clears throat> well, if Bezrin's gonna be the one spe Well, we're gonna go to Amem pretty much directly, right? <clears throat> Do you think he can be trusted with this secret? He'd put a turncoat on me or find it advantageous to turn me over. That would be it for me. You would have to give him more than he would gain by turning you over. <clears throat> I can give him a supportive force in the Sabine Forest and steady income of minerals. See, it wouldn't be a supportive force, though, because you can't have the elves attacking the Robber Baron's men. Not yet. <clears throat> it would need good cars. <clears throat> but, at the very least, it would support, supply him with <laughs> stone in a way that... <laughs> we could go to, like, a fly here and get him needed. Fucking rats in the walls, I'm telling And? Based. What the fuck do you mean, Andy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're unmuted. And. <laughs> yeah, I, I can take it. You can provide him essentially a steady source of stone. <clears throat> can't be attacked. Do you need a wash basin? Something off of his plate. <clears throat> yes, if you could. You're both covered in blood. Have the servant fetch it. <laughs> Whatever she is. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Never become a noble. I can see the power go in your head already. So, I present you as Vezrin. Fucking and lords, am I right? You can... What? what? You have access to these men and he'll ask how exactly and that's the dicey Where part exactly <clears throat> were you by the way out securing a strategic choke point you run into anybody up there all the bonus men fucking fucking locals Um, I'm interested in that Pasha fellow. Named him, running into him. As a matter of fact, do you mind telling me <clears throat> what all that was about? Uh, 
just kind of leave this room for obvious reasons. All right. He agreed to allow us to leave as long as I give a letter to someone without opening it on my honor. So who? Can you, can you give us a bit? Nora. Nora? Venora. Rock? He's... Venora. He's letter? Yeah. Why on earth would we want to speak he to He wouldn't Nora? elaborate, I asked him. Healing supplies? So, possibly. I have a theory. What kind of sword does it carry? I mean, he has a mace and a... Looks like a long sword or something. Like a straight sword? Yeah. So that guy has engaged in Aegon several times and refused to make the final blow. I am not <clears throat> certain. But I think he may be somebody we know. I overheard him when we attacked the woodcutter's camp to get the supplies. He said he was from Araland and that there was nothing left there for him. Hmm. So that would play you into know, your theory. I think he's extra, to be honest. It's a long shot, but... What? Mm, what gives you that idea? I suppose he did go to the front. The fucking forearms for one. Forced into service to fight because of Ladia. Yeah. That would explain Maybe. why he warned me not to go to the front tomorrow. Shit. I don't know. Uh, look, we can't go basing things on theories. We need to figure out what we're going to do about the original thing we talked about. <clears throat> Anyway, I need to find extra either way, so... Well, you went to follow the, that lead up. Went to the fucking front, remember? Charged out of town. Yeah. Good luck finding him. Yeah. I'll listen out if I hear anything. <sighs> Where did you, uh... Did you fight Fat Pasha at? We didn't fight Maybe Pasha, we fought... that lead up as well. Uh, we fought at the wood camp and we reclaimed it. On the way back, we were taken by surprise by Pasha and his men. They only let us through without fighting because I agreed to deliver this letter. Mm. <sighs> then do you it. Take a peek? No. Yeah, give her the letter. On my honor, I won't. But I'll give it to her. And I'll get her to tell me what's in it. <laughs> so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, okay. So. We go to Baron Amem. This is Vezrin. He has ties to... How Cyrilay? Mm, what is a merchant in Gradia doing having ties with the head of the house of Cyrilay? I think that's a conversation you should have with him. I think he has good things he could offer us. He's willing to retake the stone mine. And he has a way of doing it, apparently. I do have a worry. Mm -hmm. Even if he does accept this, <clears throat> he would see it as a slight or a betrayal or just keeping secrets. He wouldn't awesome. truly trust me if we went to Zvezrin. Well, I could at least get you in the door as Zvezrin. And then when you sit down with him in private or behind closed doors, He's talked to me before about understanding the need of uh, discretion, so... Hmm. That's really laying the cards out, though. Yes, I'm Mirandol Thessalor, and I'm wanted by the High King of... 
Well, you don't need to go into that much detail. Just say you have ties to House Surle. <sighs> say you have enough gold to hire on mercenaries to take back the stone camp. Or the iron mine, whichever. And once it's been cleared, you can put a garrison of House Cyrilly troops there, which the Robber Baron would be hesitant to attack. Yes, and if he did attack, it would mean all-out involvement <clears throat> from the Elvens. Yes, and he'll say, what do you want in return for this? This seems like you're giving me a lot. I would want access to buy the stone for my shop, and I would want a seat on the council. Okay. Understand if you go to the seat on the council, that's you're out there, out there, right? As <clears throat> version Morgul, I want a seat on the council. I see. A notable merchant. It's been done before. I suppose it could be negotiated. Hmm. Perhaps I don't even have to give my full name. However you want to play it, I can at least get you in the door. And it'd be nice to have uh, another person on the council supporting us. Been a bit outnumbered recently. And you are 100% sure you can get these troops. We could wait and find out, but it could take <clears throat> another two or three days. I'd have to send my runner. Say you have the option, and then if you can achieve it, then as a reward or return, you'd want a council seat, blah, blah, blah. Very well. It is desperate times in there. They're floundering, trying to find of any way we can do this. I'll back you any way I can. Fuck, we need the men. At the, the crux of it all, we need the men. Or at least the stone and the deterrent. <clears throat> Then I will say that I will use my pull with the Silver Lay men to do everything I can to bring in soldiers and miners. And if I am successful, I want to sit on the council. As well as stone rights. Yeah, this doesn't pose a risk to a man. I don't see why he wouldn't. He's not losing any men. It'll be on you. You want to know why the elves would want to be there? Do I tell him that the Silver Lay men are looking into the drow incursion? I don't know if he knows that there's drow about. Oh. Silver Lay... I could tell him the history of my uncle. Tell him that he is concerned about the drow presence here. They want nothing more than to take care of that. And if, in order to act in clemency, and with their prerogatives, they have to mine some stone and repair an old tower, I'm sure that that would not be too much for them. Hmm. I'm not seeing really any flaws with this, any glaring ones at least. I mean, it seems logical, but... My uncle is campaigning to get the ambassador's position here. Hmm. If that would play into things at all. Rather we try to pull this now. See if we can get it started. Get the relationship built. <clears throat> and that way, when if he, if and when he does come, it will appear that I have brought him here. Everyone in Nautis is going to hear the bells of one of the Imperial ships ringing heavily. That's probably not good. Shall we get back out there? Once more. Everyone, pause in place. Pause in place.
dude, we're about to get hit by cannon fire. Oh shit! Oh fuck. As everybody within Nautis goes about their regular days, something ill tides over the winds. A warning, a distress flag goes up over the Imperial ship, the HMS Stalwart. And suddenly, those in Nautis can hear a massive eruption, like an explosion coming from the deep water strait. Several <sighs> moments pass before a shock wave passes over Nautis, knocking people to the ground. Glass explodes and shatters the windows of every dock facing structure. Streets fill with dust, and a deafening rumbling can be heard coming from the direction of the moored Imperial ships as a massive black mushroom cloud begins to rise high into the sky. By the docks, desperate screams of some 1600 Imperials could be heard crying out, their voices carrying across the waves as the HMS Stalwart, one of the Theosian Empire's three moored ships, burns, explodes, and capsizes before beginning its slow descent beneath the waves. Unpause. Return to your channels. We're already there. Oh, cool. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Fuck. Let's get to the docks. <coughs> yes. <coughs> There's dust and shit everywhere. Shit. Do you think that, that wasn't cannon fire? No, that was one big one. You don't think their ammunition cooked off, do you? <coughs> Get back to the infirmary now! <laughs> the ship went down! What? Which one? The, the ship! The bigger ship! The left! The, the imp ship on the left! Fuck, get boats in the water, you pick up down. survivors, go. Get what you need. Continual screams can be heard by everyone within Nautis. As you see, dozens of people attempting to swim back to shore. Boats filling up with wounded, the stench of burning flesh and gunpowder as secondary explosions go off from a ship that has already disappeared beneath the waves. Even from distance, you can see the bubbles coming up in the water, the splotches of red from blood and open wounds. And bodies Get on littering. A, any boats you can when you pick up some the ocean top. Yes, uh, the moment Hopper is out. Very large to make this <laughs> Fuck. I don't think everybody agrees. Obviously, agree with the it, obviously, the robber baron. But why the illusions? He's got he's more gold fucking the back of back in the battle than fuck. I don't know what that is. He had to buy the balls. Why on earth? Oh, maple. Can I? I'm not so. <laughs> Anyone who can pilot a boat, get it out there. Anyone who's from the. I cannot. I'm gonna get a ladder or something to help lift, lift the injured up. Aye. <coughs> Anyone who's from the clinic, get back there. I'm gonna start moving the wounded back. <coughs> Keep coming. <coughs> You're right. They're still drowning up there. We're sending boats. You're gonna need to climb all and climb up all the balls. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Good call. Ladders. 
That is... Let me try to it. <laughs> Bring it in! Bring it in! Tiberius, stop moving the wounded if they need to. Back to the clinic. Strike! Someone's in the clinic! Me. He'll see to them. Take him there. Grab on! Grab on! Come on. Grab them! Fuck sakes. It's alright. No wonder we're losing. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna fall on you. All right, well he's gonna carry you out of here. And as you would see, as black charred remains of bodies slowly begin to float to the surface, hundreds of them. Oh, Help me up. Oh, God. Oh. Mandel, as you look down, you see an arm wash along with the tide towards the shore. Keep moving the wounded back to the clinic. I'm allowed to... I don't know any... I didn't see anything, right? The boats are coming in. When they come in, move the wounded back to the clinic. Anyone that can carry people. Hi. I'll do so. Good lads. Ludwig, you knew how many people were on that ship from 1600. I need you to find. I need you to get as much uh, medical staff off those uh, ships as possible and get them out of here. We have hundreds uh, of wounded uh, out here. Uh, uh, Lord Arnhart, what do you need me to do? Do you need me to go to the clinic so I can help them? If you can. Keep it. Yeah, I can help some within Let's regular see. means. Okay. We're gonna move the wounded back to the clinic, so uh, set yourself up there if they need help. Uh, do what you can. Okay. I need to talk to you after, though. Find me. Right. I will. Immediately. Okay. What do you? All right. Uh, Let's try and clear uh, the debris. Make it easier for people to move through. Uh, You good soldier? Uh, 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 I jumped ship before and I got the distress. Fuck. Do you need to go uh, to the clinic? Uh, I'm out of it. Alright, tired. Catch your breath. Uh, Even or not, just save your strength. We're getting you to the clinic. How are their injuries? Do they need to be taken? They're okay, they're just catching their breath. Ah, uh, shit, Kahneman can swim. Shit. Uh. What happened? We don't know. What the hell happened? Oh, Sean. Lenora's at the clinic right now, helping anyone that she the can, bar. if you can assist them. I'll help her. Yeah. I'm so tired oh, now. He lays down a dead recruit next to him. Lord Earhart, we're going to need a cart to move I'm all these wounded. Dead. I can't move them all by hand. Don't bond me. Marcus. Yeah. Grab the cart for the forge. Start loading up the wounded. Bring it out to the top of the stairs. I need to clear the path as best as we can. How the hell could this have happened, though? <clears throat> I don't fucking know. My lord. The treatments have started. That building won't be able to hold the amount of bodies that are going to be pouring in there. Fuck. Okay. Any other rooms anywhere else? They'll probably be piled in the street, is my guess. It's the only other option. Unless they start pour pouring them onto their own ships. But I'd recommend just worry about transport, sir. Soon an officer will take over from us. Alright. 
Make sure to sit down or you can fall down fully against the entire of the empire, not just with your own daughter, but all of them. What is happening? I don't know. Sabotage of some sort. Yes. But there are more. If there are only people away, did you know on those ships saying there's a lot of sabotage? <sighs> this can't have been the Roly Baron. How do you think that? It makes no sense. They have them by the balls. They have them with Ladia. They don't need to attack them and take them out. It's just made them in a point of weakness. They had all the supplies, their men, all in one location. The supplies were in check anyway. They didn't need to destroy them. The car for the injured is here. Start loading them up. <sighs> Keep doing what you can. Oh. Hello, do you have a car? Yep. <clears throat> They're loading up the wounded as they come in. Right. Well, I don't understand. I can tell there aren't any more. That was it. What? What happened? What's going on out here? We don't know. What happened to the ship? We don't know. <gasps> what did that... <clears throat> oh my god, I know it's kind of when you stayed on it and they moved the people back to it when that started happening here. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> of course I was in the fucking warehouse when that went off too. <laughs>
Injured coming in. Prep the beds. More of them? Got it. Enjoying the show? Not really. <clears throat> Doing okay? Yeah. There's a little chaos up there right now. Did you need something? I'm oh, just checking in to see how you're doing. Jump to leave you alone. Mm. I hate to say it to Kyla, but this is a substantial, substantially bad thing. <clears throat> yeah. Can't imagine what this will do to the rest of the warfare. We win one fight, we lose two. But you see how this is confusing. There's no way this is a Robert Baron's man. I don't know who else it would be. Anybody. But why would they risk breaching their leverage? I agree. It's not like the Imperials weren't on their guard. I was on that ship this morning. You think you were not? I heard whispers that the Inquisitor jumped ship before things exploded from the survivors. I hate to say it, but it is better if he's alive than dead. <clears throat> hmm. Despite, I think 1600 dead men is better than one dead Inquisitor. So let's hope they're not both taken in this. There's just been no sign. Not yet. Well, that was something. Indeed. <sighs> that kind of fucks up my plans, unfortunately. Your plans being... I was gonna see, you know, if we get Exter to get Lania back, blah, blah. Imperials come back and help us. 
to be honest with you, despite this, I don't even think the Rob Baron might toss her aside at this moment. It'd be senseless. I know he's been wanting to kill aside, people. Of course people. he wouldn't. Yes, but she is of no real use anymore. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Shit, that means we need to, uh, move the timeline. Well, I think regardless of certainty, they will suspect the Robber Baron, regardless of proof, and probably move against him now. Though they do not have much to use. My lord. The Imperials are starting to take control of the whole scene. Good. They're telling the civilians to stay away. Anyone seen this Inquisitor? I have not heard anything thus far. I heard some of the Imperials mentioning his name. They don't. They didn't know where he was. <clears throat> hmm. One of them said out in the water. But we didn't pick him up in a boat. I have not seen him. Hmm. Seen who? The Inquisitor. Apparently he was on the boat. Bastard, is he? Apparently he jumped off before. We have asked one of the last ships <clears throat> to go out. They weren't able to see any sign of officers. Most of the buildings, most of the marks inside the building have hunkered down, thinking it was a siege. A siege would be preferable at the moment. I was inside when it happened, did you see? I didn't see it as it happened, but I felt it knock me off my side. What are your thoughts? I don't know if I want to voice them just yet, because it implies terrible things. Oh. <sighs> Lord Erdard. <sighs> Ray. That explosion was so fucking loud, I could hear it all the way in fucking Caseto. Christ, okay. <clears throat> you heard there is an explosion happened. I'm not unfamiliar to. Bartholomew did smaller things in the day, but that, that explosion well, me, is me now, because I, I need to tell you something about that explosion that's very bad news. Alright, if you'll excuse me, everyone. Keep your good break. friends, Lord Erhard. <sighs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sneak in on this conversation if you don't mind. Yes, please, you need to hear this. Oh, fuck. For one, the Inquisitor was on there. God forbid he's dead. Great. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's made Two, it stronger stuff. That ship had wounded on it, had sick people, shroom lung people that only had the elixir on it. If it didn't destroy their skulls, they will turn they don't burn the bodies or find them and shoot and hit them in their heads with bayonets we're in deep shit because because uh, according to my calculations till now they would have only had 30 elixirs and 28 cures so that's like 30 other people that could have possibly had been cured a shroom lung halfway it could still turn if, if that ship didn't exploded. obliterate them fully yes yes <clears throat> Whatever is left of them being eaten by wildlife in the street. Hmm. 
Who did this? Tyler. It's hard to tell at this very moment who is behind it. Whoever they were, they had to have been very careful, especially if the Inquisitor was on board. That means they did it with his presence. You didn't this do this, did you? Fucks everything. No, I was out fighting. I have some theories. I was in the apothecary. I was in the apothecary with O'Shawn. The health. I don't see the robber I, baron doing it. Like that's the thing. What's that? That is a letter to you that I was asked to deliver to you directly without opening it on my honor from a Mr. Pasha. I'm curious about this letter myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you gonna read this out loud, Faye? She's gonna read it. She's gonna look at it silently first. Okay. So, assuming you might tell the others, I'm gonna read it out loud, and you can tell them if you told them. Understood? Okay. Understood. <clears throat> Kindest Lady Fay, I have found myself in a bit of a predicament. I've had to make several choices that I am ashamed of and had to do things that I will never be able to forgive myself for. I did not see much of a chance the way things were. And I am sworn to one person, not a dynasty, not an army, not a country. But one person is my charge. I ask of you to leave the highest order of healing items that you have in a marked location that I have drawn at the bottom of this letter, as I intend to go through with my intentions on the morrow. I am afraid I have no way of transportation and no way to quickly evacuate the person intended, and I will need help. If there is anyone you know that can get a cart or an armed force back here near Telor Keep, I can meet them in the Badlands. I do not think she will forgive me. 